improvement discussions. Uh, we will ha hear from the municipal auditorium here in a second. We welcome you. I know that you've got some folks with you, but I want to give a quick shout out to the council members that we also have with us today. We have council member John Cooper. We have council member Nancy Van Rees, and we also have council member Robert Swope. Um, who have joined us in the back there. So uh, I'm going to turn it over to you, Bob, and let you introduce your folks, and then we'll start walking through your budget. Mayor, thank you for having us today. Our Tanya, pleasure. Rich, I'd like to introduce our chairman of the Auditorium Commission, Blake McDaniel, and our Blake finance McDaniel. manager, Christy nice Bailey. Guys. So we appreciate you having us here today. We just wanted to start off with saying that um, this current fiscal year, we're going to be meeting our projected revenues, and we think that pretty close to our, our uh, expenses will be about the same. So we're going to have a close to almost a break-even year if all of our projections come true with events. And as you know, events can teeter a little sure. bit. I wouldn't expect it to snow this Saturday morning where it hurt our attendance a little bit on an event we were having, the Youth Baptist Convention. But those things can happen. So, but it, it's a big step forward that we, we can possibly yeah, yeah. come you guys in and have, do that. How long have you all had a, subs a fairly significant subsidy? Oh, for 20 plus years, maybe? Oh, yeah. 20, so, I mean, the fact that you were to a point years. where you're almost at a break even break is, even. I think, it's a, a real testament to you and uh, the folks who work with you. Real. So, thank you. Well, Absolutely. thank you. And so, um, we're going to be lowering. I know we, had, we asked for a subsidy of 400000 this year, and we probably won't be touching that, we don't think. Um, but then next year, we're going to close it down to $300,000. So, and for as far as the improvements that we're planning on asking for this year, right now, I don't want to add a full-time employee, but with the increased event load that we've been having, mm -hmm. um, just to give you, for instance, we had the last couple of years, we've been averaging about seven concerts a year. This year, we're doing 20 concerts a year, and I'll, I'll, I'll cover that in just a moment. But, uh, you know, so we're asking for somebody to, on our staff to help take care of cleaning. It's becoming a much more important thing sure. and to, own, to have some ownership. And we'd like to partner with the, the premier building services and use their people in our building to do some daily deep cleaning that we've kind of been missing. So that's one thing that we've asked for as, as far as an improvement. The other thing is a salary enhancement. We're having a, um, a job audit performed on one of our event managers position right now. So that would be, it's still kind of out there and, and still in the works of $8,800. Uh, and the last thing is a stormwater increase. But as far as uh, our upcoming capital improvements that we're asking for, and that pertains to the little study sheet that I, I gave to you, most of our equipment, which is coming up on 55 years old this October, uh, we've been living with that sink right there has been came with the building that that sink and faucet and it's still serving us well but it is the old kind with a twist and a spring and you know you got to wash with one hand it gives it character it, it does <laughs> there is much character there you can see the dings in the uh the armor <laughs> so <laughs> but um uh -huh. so a lot of the fixtures are all original and so we're asking for uh four hundred thousand dollar uh, request there to renovate our restrooms and also we're asking for some money for uh, HVAC improvements um, and plumbing. All, a lot of our cast iron pipes are, are starting to fail us and we're having to replace a lot of them. We have a lot of units that have become uh, just out of service and they have some issues that um, we're starting to need their capacity on certain full nights that we're, we're starting to experience with the event load that we're having. Um, also, there's a picture in there going on to your uh, your, your rigging. It, this is kind of, our rigging, we just hang off of our beams right now. It's, it's what we originally started to do with our building, but there, and, we, and you'll see the pictures of the boom trucks here. Uh, that's what we have to do to rig in our building. It's very slow, very expensive, very cumbersome, and uh, we're, we, there's a, a rigging system out there that you can walk up to the actual beam. You put a, a grid below it and the person can safely tie onto the beams and, and rig safely and much more quicker. And I think that would be a big payoff for us as far as generate more revenue, as far as television is very interested if we would ever approach having something like this installed in our building. So this is, this is just something that would just really improve our facility. Most of the facilities across the country are, are doing something like this right now, so we're having to compete with them. The, the last thing is the, the risers. As you can see, they're, they're wood and they're iron and they're cross braces and things like that. And they're original. They're somewhat very 
difficult for us to uh, take out and take and put back in. They're almost a two-day process, one day in, one day out, and they're getting a little bit rickety for 55 years old. So I think it's time that, you know, I, I've gotten some prices of a million, a little over a million dollars to, to put in some type of um, collapsible type of system because this all stores and, and you have to take it down. It's more labor intensive. So those are the types of things that I, I think we need to look at. We've got a, a forklift in the system also because um, one of ours is pretty old and it's probably on its last leg. And the last thing was, this was a, an idea that the Live Nation people came up with some two underutilized meeting rooms that we have on our uh, Fifth Avenue Plaza and our Fifth Avenue entrance that we could make in, and build into a VIP room and this could be used for many of our different types of events that we host, not just for only concerts, but they, they came up with a good idea here to make it a, a separate uh, entrance for VIP ticket holders and um, to, to utilize a, a couple of areas that we're not ever able to be uh, utilized very well. They're just kind of out of the mainstream. So I present that to you, and I'd like to just kind of touch on Live Nation. They've been bringing in a lot of different new events this year they're going to be hosting um almost is it 10 concerts with us this year and, and it's the likes of sting and um we've had him recently we had the chain smokers what were some of the other ones we yeah, had 1975 five um, uh, pretty lights pretty little lights wayne. little wayne we got yeah. coming up boston we have coming up so um it's been a great relationship they're starting to really help us ramp up our our visibility within the city and and the facility is getting a lot more use and I just would like to just say that it's to keep every the momentum going I think we probably need to really take a strong look at something doing some of these improvements so the, the, the total request for improvements is about six million dollars yes and once if that investment were made of, of six million into the facility then what's left like what 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 are we talking about to bring the, the total facility up to what it would need to be well we, we, or does that do it for us that doesn't do it for us i didn't think that was the answer that's why i was asking but i had for the six-year capital plan it totaled up to 11 million 250. so in addition to the six million or is no, that no, including total. yeah so but, and i think that total. may be a little short too um when we're looking at making this a facility that people all over the nation are going to talk about and be and us be proud of um it's going to take a little more than that i think i mean um you know i was wanting to shoot a little bit higher than that but bob being the you know <laughs> the know. humble guy he is wanted to come in and, and, and be fiscal responsible fiscally responsible but um we're in a situation now where we've got some momentum going here and we've set this thing up for success and so we want to keep that momentum going um and i think just like the ryman did at one point when it was People thought it seen its better days. Somebody with vision and capital went in there and, and invested and turned that place around. And um, I think we have this opportunity to do that with this facility as well. So I'm a little more bold than Bob is, but you know. <laughs> so how, how, remind me, how much to, um, how many does this seat for a concert? Depending on the productions, our legal capacity is 9,900. 9,900. It depends on their production. Yeah, I've, I've had it where, you know. How many did Sting have? We had 4,300 that 40, night. So that was a lot smaller. There was yeah. the empty seats also. Yeah, there, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, yeah. right. So, so um, I think it was set up for a 5,800. Yeah, capacity. so it's set up for Because we can curtain a lot. We have a lot of different curtains. We can block off the balcony. We can block off the back of the What's house. What's the largest live nation show that they've done? 8,500 was for the chain smokers. They had 8,500. We, we, we capped it at that with their size of their production. Yeah. So that's going to be 8,000 mm -hmm. issues probably. Yeah. Get right. Right. Yeah. And that was a general mission. When you have general mission on the floor, you have a lot more flexibility. Mm -hmm. And that's when no they seats. they like to take the seats off the risers, so we have to pull off, the, you know, take out the seats from the risers. So Steve had the like risers that. in. He had the risers so in. That was a general mission. None of those no, risers. Right. risers. Right. Right. That's okay. right. That's yeah. interesting. I mean, I'd like for you just to briefly talk about the capital investments that were made yes. before uh, Live Nation came in, because that was part of the agreement that we would put some significant capital in there before that contract I'm began. Late. So I, I do think that that's worth noting Absolutely. that, yes. that uh, some of those yep. improvements have been made. It really, really made the turn 
when we started to look at, we didn't have a fire alarm system probably 15 years ago. They put that in. Then the ADA, we addressed all the ADA issues within the facility, and it's completely compliant with that. Then now we also have recently um, re reconditioned all of the seats. They take out each mm -hmm. seat individually, bring it back, redo it, and so it's a completely green project, if you will. So, um, so we're in the process of doing that right now. And also, we've, we've been doing some restoration of some uh, HVAC equipment right now. We just got some secured some 4% monies to take care of our steam trap problem that we're having. When it's causing some higher uh, ma maintenance and issues as far as uh, utility bills. So do, we're do addressing you that. about the, the Live Nation? And then, the, then we got yeah, the, yeah. the biggest backstage. one we I'm got. I'm talking yeah. about the, the big. Backstage. That hasn't been done yet. It's so the construction is going to commence on that May 19th. May 19th. Is that your summer renovation schedule? Yes, correct. we're going to be Okay, because that's a up. big, that's a big yeah. project. This is, this, correct, this <laughs> is huge. It is. We're, right. we're taking out one half of our back ramp and building a catering area. And then we're also taking our two big dressing rooms and making them five separate dressing rooms and putting in a crew room also for the people that live on the road and the buses, so to speak. So this will be a first class, first class. facility. It's going to have enclosures. It's going to be able to be have um, security backstage. It's paramount with these artists. And it's about the artist experience. Yeah, especially Blake. Blake's an agent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is about the artist experience. <laughs> he knows. So I couldn't have guessed. <laughs> But it's a, I think it's that's a, a couple. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't really care about the yeah. big line. There he goes. <laughs> that's a big deal. Yeah. I'm a building manager. So, so yeah, so that's the backstage experience. You got to have the artists being pleased with the with the experience that they sure. have, so they tell all of their friends and the managers, and they all want to go and do it as well. But then you also have to attend to the ticket buyer's experience, and so we that that doesn't take care of the ticket buyer's experience. So we want to do that as well. And you, now you mentioned that you did 20 <coughs> concerts this last year, only projecting to do 10. Is that because of that summer renovation schedule that we're talking about? 10 of those were with Live Nation. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I misspoke. Um, yeah. And so. Uh, but no, there may be they, less. There may, they may be doing more after this renovation. I suspect they will, because they only projected they would do six this year in their I contract see. and their proposal, and they're going to be doing 10. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But, but they're not as much as we thought we would nation. be just because of the windows there. Got it. See, originally we were hoping that we would get our feet under us this first year, and then the second year maybe break even, the third year see a profit, but it seems like we've, expect, we've exceeded our expectations. Right. And so if it weren't for this window, I think we would be in the black for the Got second it. year, which is incredible. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Questions? So we'll be, okay. we'll be doing the renovations this, this summer. We'll be starting in mid-May. And this is the million and a half that Yes, yeah. and then we kept the powder dry. For, right. for some of the, for we had a, the shows. Yeah. And we and had a, it seems like it's a good partnership. I mean, we talked about Oh, it's a great partnership. It's a great, it's so much great. better than we expected. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so, too. I mean, my whole relationship <laughs> with them has been much better than I ever anticipated. They are. And if they say they're going to do six shows, they'll end up doing eight to ten to twelve. That's right. Because they can't say no to the opportunity. Yep. They, 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 they just can't do their promoter, It's a good problem right? to have. That's right. It's Another side of the business. So That's they, right. Uh, but they, they, they've done well with a good variety. Are you getting any kind of feedback from people that are going there for the first time uh, who hadn't been to the arena or hadn't been there in right. 40 people years? Most, used to be mostly yeah. people yeah. haven't come there. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. You're right. right. Who came and now they come they're back. back. <laughs> yeah. They're back. What, are you hearing, is there any re reoccurring they don't like or that any issue that they're, I'm sure that the, you know, the, the food concessions and all that aren't like they're not as modern as some. Yeah, it's correct. They're not up to standard. Yeah, we, standard we want show. to do some improvements yeah, to the food and beverage. We've done the points of sales, but we want to still increase the the, the look. Yeah, if yeah. you will. And last but not least, I see that you just have a, a special topic down here of OVC. You want to just take a moment and talk about the fact that OVC is not I'll, here I'll with us anymore. I'll be glad to. It, it breaks breaks the auditorium's heart to see them leave after they've been in the city for almost 23 years. Yeah. Um, be they've been a great tenant, and uh, they, they just decided that they wanted to try something new and go to Evansville next year, and they are holding dates with us the following two years, and so we'll do our best to maintain okay. those dates and try I think to get part them back of what, I think what part of what they want to see, and Bob, you were in all those conversations as well, is they want to see a continued commitment on the city's part to the building. Yep. I, yep, think, they if they I think if they, they see that, they see it could that. make a difference going forward. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Agreed. I think so, too. That's a fair statement. Anything else? That's no. good. I appreciate no. it. Mayor, Bob, thank we appreciate you. Thank you so much. We appreciate all the work that you guys do, too. Absolutely. Have a great rest of your day. Okay. Well, thank you, Thanks. Mayor. Thank you.